Tim, my friend, how are you doing? Howdy. Healthy. I think Healthy. that's the, the term of the day, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So, Tim, before we get started, I want to just, uh, you know, publicly here on the show, say thank you uh, for sponsoring the live stream with uh, with Pass Solutions. It's fantastic. I'm excited uh, to get to see what you've been working on in the product here. Before we get started, though, why don't you give a brief introduction of who you are um, and so everyone else who's watching can can get an idea who's presenting to them here? Sure. So I'm a chief technology officer and also founder of Path Solutions. My background is I've been a network engineer for over 30 years. Uh, There's a little more gray hair if you want to actually look a little closer. But I started back in the days of Coax ArcNet and Novell Netware 2.10. So if anyone wants to sit down with me and share a beer and talk about those days, (laughs) perfectly happy to do that. The next conference, the next conference that we'll have to do that too. <laughs> uh, that predates Absolutely. me by a little bit, not not a lot, but enough uh, for sure. Uh, so Tim, uh, you're here to talk about uh, the Path Solutions product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you go. We're going to try to, um, uh, Tony and I are going to back away, let you uh, let you present. We might ask some questions along the way, um, but we're going to try to hold back the questions to the end. We'll do a little bit of Q&A session. And that goes out to uh, the people who are watching live right now. Uh, watch, pay attention, ask the questions, and we will relay them in uh, at the end. So uh, without any further ado, Tim, I'm going to set up your desk as the presentation desk, and I'm going to let you go for it. All right, here you go. Okay. Well, actually, Tony, something you just said uh, kind of uh, uh, is something to key in on is you love data. And the thing is, the same was true for me is I figured switches, routers, gateways, firewalls, there's a ton of data that each manufacturer puts inside those devices that sadly, when it comes to troubleshooting, you have to go manually dig around because your monitoring solution doesn't show you enough data and it also doesn't help you analyze that data. And I figured really what's missing from the market is the ability to have that information automatically scooped up, analyzed so that you can solve problems faster. Uh, And that's really the the core of what we've built here. So let me dive in and really talk about what a lot of existing monitoring systems do. A lot of existing monitoring systems, you have to set up a collector, you have to set up and license a database, maybe you have to set up a couple of remote collectors, And then you have to go out and configure it to monitor your switches and routers. This typically is a manual procedure. If you miss anything, well, that's just a goof. Then you have to set up monitoring of individual interfaces that are interesting to you. And usually you want to make sure you don't run out of licenses here. But sadly, you only get so far before you have to get back to your day job of actually running a network. This leaves a lot to be desired because you have users that say, hey, I've got a problem. I've got an issue. And you check your monitoring system and your monitoring system says, hey, everything's A-OK, everything's healthy. And you're left stuck having to log into switches, log into routers, check interfaces, check error counters, looking for configuration, looking for performance information, route paths, layer two. So this just leaves a lot of people frustrated because you go look for this stuff and you still don't find the problem. And you have to tell the user, well, maybe the next time it happens, I can catch it in the act. And so you're stuck saying, I have less visibility than I need on this network. Well, this is where we said, you need something different. You need next generation monitoring with integrated root cause troubleshooting. Here's what that looks like. You have a single deployment that scales far better, up to 150,000 interfaces, so you don't need to have multiple remote collection servers. It'll automatically go find every switch, every router, and monitor all of them, including every interface on every switch and every router. You're responsible for the entire network. You ought to have visibility that matches this responsibility. So we figure we're going to give you that. Now, in addition to broad coverage, we're also going to go deep. Your switches and routers and gateways and firewalls have a lot of intelligence that these manufacturers have built in, and we figure we're going to go automatically scoop that up performance information, configuration, 19 different error counters, all the QoS, CDP, LLDP, PoE, all of that information automatically picked up, brought back, and then analyzed automatically. What that means is we're going to produce plain English diagnostics of things that we find are broken in your network. 
That means that really within just a short amount of time of deployment, typically minutes, maybe an hour, we're going to start telling you, here is everything that your network equipment knows about what's broken so that you can start working on fixing it. That means you're going to end up being the genius on your network because you know what's broken and you're going to get it fixed faster than anyone else could manually go find this stuff. We can find cabling faults, duplex mismatches, VLAN tagging uh, misconfigurations, QoS problems, spanning tree issues. Uh, all of this information automatically gets brought back so that you solve more problems. The core solution is a single integrated package that includes everything you need to run a perfectly healthy network. Path mapping, port mapping, server monitoring, inventory, IPAM, uh, automation, a MIB browser, NetFlow. That way, one solution includes everything. Now, we have a number of modules that layer on top of this if you have a need, and the first module is telecom. So if you're trying to solve a call quality problem between a pair of IP addresses that happened earlier in the day, most of the time you're going to be stuck having to tell the user, I don't know. In our case, we can path map from any, two, or any IP address to any other IP address. So we'll show you the links, the switches, the routers used along that path and show you the health and performance of every one of those elements at any point in time. So if somebody comes up to you at 5 p.m. and says they had a poor quality call at 2.30, you can run a path map report and say, okay, your call was bad because we were dropping packets out of the high priority queue at 2.35 and two minutes later dropping packets due to a bad station cord. At that point, you know you can solve the problem by adjusting the QoS queue, queue depth on your router and then get a new patch cord to that far end connection. Thus, you get the root cause of the problem solved, even if it's two problems that are happening. In addition, we can do call simulations to be able to validate different parts of the network and put actual simulated voice traffic on the network to be able to say, what is latency, jitter, loss, out of order? Are we losing our DSCP tag? Are we having a pathing problem? Uh, are we having a firewall blocking these packets? So we can end up doing this type of testing to find out what is the stability across your network to quickly determine where do you have latency, jitter, loss, or problems with voice. So we also have full visibility into QoS queues, SIP trunk monitoring. We can locate your phones, trigger alerts if people move phones, everything you need to run a perfectly healthy VoIP environment. Now, security is something that's really a, a top of mind for a lot of folks these days. And this is something that, again, from our company's inception, we've seen as a core design practice. So we have a security operations module. This module has a number of features. The first one is SOAR. So if you have a SIM or an IDS that says, hey, we found suspicious activity on a specific IP address, Typically, what happens is you pull open your run book and say, I've got 30 minutes worth of work here to be able to research this. I've got 17 different steps. Maybe I need to use 12 different tools. And that just means that it's frustrating to be able to research all of your security events. In our case, we're going to tell you, here is where that device is connected. The switch, the interface, the VLAN will tell you what it is, the operating system, who's logged in, what their rights and capabilities are what's running on the box, who they're communicating with, and how. In addition, what is the risk profile of this communication? And then, do you want to quarantine this? If you had all of this information in front of you in one tool, within 60 seconds, you'd say, yes, quarantine this. I want it off my network. That means you're going to reduce dwell time because you know what's going on with these security incidents. Other capabilities we have in our SecOps Manager product is policy monitoring. Let's say you have a high security database that should only be accessed by a set number of users in a local office. And you set your firewalls and ACLs to say, these are the only people who should access this. Well, if you set us up to monitor that policy, we can trigger alerts. If this happens, that way you know, gee, somehow your policies aren't being enforced. We can say, yeah, we're monitoring the policy and this communication happened. Here's a policy violation alert. Now, this is particularly valuable right now is you want to make sure that your monitoring servers aren't communicating with unsavory players out there on the Internet, and we can do that as well. In addition, we do OS vulnerability detection. 
So all of the switches, routers, gateways, firewalls, we synchronize with NIST to determine what are the published vulnerabilities on these devices. So you don't need another tool to be able to do lengthy scanning and fingerprinting to determine what those vulnerabilities are. We just have a list so that you can go through and say, these are the three devices we need to upgrade or remediate. If you're reading your morning security news feed and you say, gee, there's a, a vulnerability for Audiophone 335s, do we have any on the network? And you're scratching your head wondering, I thought we decommissioned them, but I don't know if we have any on the network. Well, with one quick search, we're going to tell you, yes, you have three of them and here's where they're connected. That way you know what is inside of your network. Now, you guys talked about strange new devices popping into the network, and I thought, hmm, this is interesting, because if some new device, some mystery device pops into that network, within five minutes, we're going to be able to tell you, here's what it is, here's where it's connected, who it talks to, and what they're doing. Do you want to quarantine this? That way, those mystery devices that pop into the network, you're going to have all the information about them and be able to say, yeah, sorry, don't want this. So our SecOps product is layered on top of TotalView Core. Uh, it gives you geographic risk information, rogue device, IoT device monitoring, everything you need to know to say what is going on with communications in my environment. Now, the last module I want to talk about is remote worker troubleshooting. Now, there's a lot of folks who are stuck work at, working at home, but a lot of IT folks are being challenged with helping people out. They may be tasked with being responsible for solving problems. They may be tasked with just, hey, you need to make it so that these people can work. Despite the fact that you're not responsible, you need to help them out. And you're stuck because there's not a lot you can do in many cases. Let's go through a sample scenario. So you have a CFO working from home. They have a poor quality Zoom team meeting. So let's scope the problem out. You have the internet. You have the Zoom team cloud servers, you have your headquarters, and you have the user's home office. Inside their home office, they have some unknown brand of firewall, unknown point, and their laptop. Problems can abound because you can have issues with wireless signal strength, wireless channel contention, cabling issues, firewall issues, ISP overload issues, split tunneling problems. So all of these problems can happen. And usually what happens is you say, well, let's see if we can set up a meeting and I'll remote control your desktop. And you find out, well, you, first thing is you got to schedule this with the user and that's challenging. The second thing is, is that if you can't get the remote session established because their connection is too poor, you can't even help them. Even if you do get the remote session established, you're sitting there realizing, okay, what are the tools at my disposal? I have ping and I have traceroute okay, that's not a whole lot of capability here. So what we figured the right way to solve the problem is you send the user a single executable and say, here, go run this. What it will do is you can have the non-technical user have it fetch information from all of these different segments of the network, bring that information back, and then send that back to the TotalView server. And once they run that, you as the network engineer, you get a notification saying the lab results are in. You can now evaluate what the problem is. At that point, you go through the results and you can say, okay, it looks like your laptop is fine, but you got a wireless signal strength problem here. Let me talk to you about how to map your house out with this tool so you can find out where signal strength is strong and where it's weak. By the way, in your neighborhood, there's a lot of people using wireless channel three. Let's change to channel six since nobody's using that. Your firewall also, it looks like it's a little $29 firewall. Let's get something that has a little bit more horsepower so it's not adding 20 milliseconds of latency. Also, your ISP is only giving you 4.2 megs of upload. Is that expected? Because if you're running two kids schooling at home at the same time you're trying to do meetings, you're going to have issues. So all of this information is automatically collected and sent back so that you can analyze it, and you don't even have to schedule a meeting with the user. So rapid troubleshooting of remote user connections, centralized reporting, centralized test prescriptions means you're going to get a lot of problems solved. Pass Solutions has over two decades of experience building network monitoring systems designed to give you total network visibility. TotalView's automation means it can be fully deployed and configured in minutes, monitoring every device, interface, and server in your entire infrastructure. And it goes deep. 
Collecting performance, configuration, 19 different error counters, PoE, and QoS statistics on every single interface. Now, all of this information is automatically analyzed to produce plain English answers. Problems get solved faster because more information and intelligence is brought to bear. This is what total network visibility is all about. Knowing more about your network than with any other solution. Total View is easy to acquire as everything is included in the core offering. NetFlow, diagramming, path mapping, server monitoring, network automation, IPAM, cloud service monitoring, and more. Putting your trust in a monitoring system can require a leap of faith. From inception, TotalView has a more secure architecture and build process that helps to protect their customers. Contact Path Solutions today, where you can learn more about their competitive upgrade program. Total network visibility, rapidly deployed. Find out more at www.pathsolutions.com.